Hi guys, hope you're doing well. I am in a different location today. I'm actually in Arizona, so just like old times. I did move to LA earlier this year and I'm currently staying in a hotel. This is basically an extended weekend. It's the first time I've truly been able to take a break from work since I started six months ago in LA and I'm just trying to enjoy myself, enjoy Arizona in a way that I never have before. I booked time at the Omni Scottsdale at Mona Lucia. Uh, Mona Lucia is just a property that I've always wanted to check out and I never have. I've really been enjoying it. So this is the room I'm currently in. This is gonna be night four and then I head back to LA tomorrow. Before I head back, I wanted to shoot at least one video. So I'm gonna get one in and it's going to be about my makeup bag. So this is the travel makeup bag that I brought with me. It's the one that I've been using for the last few months. I purchased it on the original Beauty Box website. I'm a big fan of theirs. I really enjoy organization when it comes to really anything, home related, makeup related. I love organization and original Beauty Box has a lot of organizational products or uh, units basically. When I purchased this bag off of the original Beauty Box website, I ended up getting the wrong size. It was like the larger size and I reached out to them and the owner replied and she was so kind. She let me keep it because I post on Instagram, you know, all my organization stuff and I tend to post a lot of original Beauty Box because that's just where I ended up buying a lot of my stuff. Like they have not gifted me anything. I've been buying all their stuff myself and because the owner notices that. She said that I could just keep the large one and she said maybe I could use it for a giveaway. And then she sent me the one that I wanted because I truly wanted this size. I wanted it to be very convenient for travel and the large was just a little bit too large for me. Um, nothing crazy here. It's not like in collaboration with them or anything like that. This is not sponsored. This is her truly just saying, keep it, you don't have to send it back. That's our fault. And maybe you can use it for a giveaway. So that's so nice of her. So thank you to her for that and I wanted to give you guys this large one. So um, I haven't done a giveaway in a very long time so I feel very rusty on this but let's just say you know in the comments below if you want to let me know what are the three products that you would definitely put in your travel makeup bag if you were going on a road trip tomorrow. What are the three absolute must-haves? So let me know in a comment below if you're interested in getting this large bag from me and then just list three products that you would definitely be putting in that bag. And I will randomly select a winner here um, within the month and I hope that you're subscribed to me in that process. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much um, for that. So now let's get into what is in this bag. So we'll start off with this bag and how it's organized. Down here, there are three compartments. There are two removable dividers here. The downside to this bag, I will say, is this divider right here tends to slide out. I think it needed to be a little bit bigger for it to be nice and snug in there. It tends to kind of slide out like it's already kind of trying to slide out right now. I go back and forth between having this here and not having this here. I don't know if it's just my bag in particular or if uh, they all are kind of like that with Original Beauty Box, but just a heads up on that. But it is like a nice sturdy a makeup bag and it kind of makes you feel like a makeup artist or at least like a mini kit for a makeup artist which is cool. Up here there's a covered section for brushes. I love this. So I have over here nine eyeshadow brushes. I think well maybe I put it back in here. I either have nine or ten pretty much at all times but they are almost all dirty. And then I have three face brushes. Right now I'm only using two because one of them is a blush brush and I don't have a blush at the moment that I want to use uh, with my rosacea. I'm actually going through and uh, cleaning out a lot of the products I've been using because now I go through a list of ingredients that I'm trying to avoid as much as possible. And there is a blush that I want to get from Cover FX. I just haven't gotten it yet. But around the last year or so, a blush hasn't really been a must have for me. I've been really into bronzer. It's not the worst thing ever. Plus I'm on vacation, it's not a big deal. And then I use this Wet n Wild brush for bronzer. I like these angled brushes. And then this other angled brush, I believe is from Morphe. This is like the 
This is the S13, and then I use this for face powder. And there is a zipper compartment right here that I put another one of those dividers in, so it does come with another one if you choose to put it in there, but I didn't need it, and it's like another thing that could slide around, so I just don't use it. That's what is going on up here. I really like the layout of this. I love that it's all there for you when you open this up and you could also kind of like fold this back a little bit and then if you stand this upright in your bathroom it's very user friendly and easy to grab everything i think it was a year ago i did a travel makeup bag video and it was one from target and it had the tiers the bottom compartment and then the middle compartment and then another zipper i think it was and i liked it at the time but i realized that comparing it to something like this that was a little cumbersome and i like that this is just all right there for you because i also use this outside of traveling i'll go through the products in here to show you what i bring with me when i travel and these are also pretty much my day-to-day go-to products i don't necessarily switch anything out right now just specifically for travel in the top compartment i have tools and eyeshadow palettes in there when i say tools i just mean like random things that aren't necessarily makeup products i use scotch tape to get the clean edge of my eyeshadow and I like to put pieces of tape right there, so I have some scotch tape. I also have eyelash glue in there. This is my brush cleaner I got from Ulta. I really like it. So you can swirl your eyeshadow brush in here, and then it does a pretty good job at removing most of the eyeshadow so that you can use it again for a different shade. I also have in here an Ulta pencil sharpener. The two palettes that I brought with me are the ones that are pretty much in here day to day these days anyway. This one is the Natasha Denona Camel Palette that I got just recently, maybe in the last month or so. And it has five beautiful neutral eyeshadows and I've really been liking this. It's very neutral as you can see, but that's just how I am. I really love the browns and the tans. This is my first Natasha Denona palette and I wanted to try her stuff with something a lot smaller because her palettes are of course pretty expensive and I'm really liking this sample the sampling of eyeshadows from Natasha Denona. If you have any other Natasha Denona recommendations, let me know. And then my other eyeshadow palette that I have been loving and it is my go-to palette right now is by the brand Elsie Cosmetics and it's the, minimal, the Minimalist palette. And this has also five shadows, but this is like an all-in-one. All matte shadows, you have a matte cream uh, off-white color here that I use all over my lid to set the concealer that I put down. This goes all in my transition shade crease area. Dark matte brown is what I use to kind of deepen that outer corner, and then I will add the black. The black is very pigmented. In this one, I don't really use. It's a reddish brown that I could probably start using more of, especially in the fall, but I love all five of these, and the beautiful thing about this is it's really not powdery. Like, you don't get a lot of kick up when you put your brush in here, so I've really been enjoying this. Now let's go over the face products that I have over here on the right. I would say this is the biggest change for me, and it's the foundation that I'm currently using, but it's not a really traditional foundation in the sense that you don't just like pump it out and then put it on your face. Because of my rosacea, it's been really difficult finding products that I can have or I can use because of all of the ingredients that you can find in so many products that are not good for you or that they clog your pores. So it's not just about rosacea, but it's also about pore clogging ingredients and there are so many makeup products out there that have pore clogging ingredients. So I've been going through them and avoiding them and I ended up grabbing the Derma Blend Professional Flawless Creator. It's a multi-use liquid pigment and I have it in the shade 25N. This is actually not one where you just grab it from the bottle and then put it directly on your face. This is a very pigmented, saturated product, and this is my foundation and concealer in one. To dilute it a little bit and make it spread nicely across my skin, I mix it in with something. This isn't really the thing that I was planning to mix it in with, but at the time, because I was still trying to figure out all of my skincare products, I didn't really have anything like a, a moisturizer, for example, to mix this in with. So I was like, um, well, I at least have this, so let's just try it, and it's been working for me so I kind of feel like 
don't fix it if it's not broken. This is the Trader Joe's Nourish Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. And these are the two products that I mix together to pretty much create my foundation and also my concealer. And then I'll go in a little bit harder on this when I'm concealing certain areas. It feels very lightweight on the skin. It is what I'm currently wearing. I'm not wearing an actual like traditional concealer with this. This is all I am wearing. I do have one concealer still in here and this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Creme Brulee that I've been a big fan of for years. The reason why I'm actually still using this is as um, an eyeshadow base. So I put this on my lids before I put on eyeshadow and then I set it with a powder and that's the only way I'm currently using this. I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna like repurchase it just to use as an eyeshadow primer. Um, maybe. I really do like concealer on the, under the uh, eyeshadow, so not sure. Let me know if you are a primer user or a concealer user when it comes to your eye base. Next up is powder and this is a new product as well because of my skin changes and everything like that. So oh, another thing with my skin is not only did I have rosacea but through finding this esthetician, I talked about this or I wrote about this on my Instagram but she told me that I have dry skin instead of oily skin. I've been talking about how I have oily skin all this time and who knows maybe over the years my skin has changed because that does happen and I'm now 32 so I do hear about people talking about their skin changing all the time so that could have happened but it also makes sense because uh, she was just saying my skin is dehydrated and that's why it's producing so much oil in terms of like the texture of my skin, it's very much like a dry skin person. When I started switching over to products that are good for dry skin, good for rosacea, good for acne, my skin I feel like has really cleared up and has gotten really soft and smooth, so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I ended up getting this powder that also meets my expectations in terms of ingredients and this is by cover fx the perfect pressed powder in the shade light the thing that i don't like about this is i'm pretty sure it's very limited in terms of shades this is in the shade light and i just dust this all over that dermablend foundation after i'm done just to set it and i still do however use the neutrogena shine control powder i've been kind of doing both i will go in with the color cover fx powder first and then i feel like i want to set it a little bit more because i have a long day today or whatever which is pretty much every day then i will dust a little bit of the neutrogena shine control powder on top because Minus the talc, which I guess is not good for rosacea. Don't quote me on any of this. I'm not an expert. Um, the ingredients themselves are actually okay in terms of pore clogging ingredients. So I am still using this and I'll just dust it around my face. And I do notice that my skin doesn't get nearly as oily as it did like a month or two ago when I was treating it like it was oily. Major road to skin recovery, I feel like, but yes, I still use Neutrogena Shine Control Powder, hit major pan on this. Regarding bronzer, this is something that I've not been able to part ways with, and this does have ingredients that I believe are pore clogging. So this is like the one exception to um, my change right now, but this is the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer in Sweet Tea. This is my favorite bronzer and I um, am pretty sure I'm gonna find another one from Cover FX. Cover FX, I guess, I'm very new to the brand. I know that it's not new, but to me it's new. I haven't really purchased anything from Cover FX, but I guess their ingredients are pretty good. Um, Cause I'm noticing that if I'm gonna grab anything, it tends to be Cover FX. Bare Minerals is another one that tends to be pretty good in regards to ingredients. And if you're using any of the products that I'm talking about that I'm not using anymore, it's okay. If you're not having issues, keep using what you're using. It's just that for me, my skin has really been acting up and it's so sensitive right now that I've just been wanting to figure it out, get to the source of all of my issues instead of just you know, putting a Band-Aid on top of it. Uh, and that is why I'm kind of figuring this all out. So this I'm eventually going to stop using, but it's just so good. It's so hard to stop using it. It is my favorite bronzer. Last but not least is this bottom left corner here. This is where I tend to have my pencils, mascaras, things like that. So I have two pencils here. This one is my eyeliner and this is the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny in black, I believe. I think it's just called black. 
is it black? Defining black. And this is what I use to tight line. The other pencil that I have here is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk Lip Liner. This is my favorite. I'm currently wearing it. Three more pencils. Two of them are brow pencils, and this one is an eyeliner as well. So this is the brown eyeliner I'm currently using for the lower lash line, and this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Demolition. This is a matte dark brown. And then my two brow pencils. I don't necessarily need two of them. I just have them in here. I like both of them um, and two different price points. They're so dirty, oh my gosh. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer and I use it in Ebony. I love this pencil. I actually just purchased another one when it was on sale. On Ulta's website. And then this is the e.l.f. brow pencil in deep brown. I already lost the cap to this spoolie. Um, they are both really good pencils. If you want to save some money and get a, I think a three dollar pencil, there's this one. And then otherwise I really like the Anastasia one. And then for curling eyelashes, this is the Shu Uemura eyelash curler that I love for my small eyes. And then for mascara, I have two one for my top lashes and one for my lower lashes. They are both from the drugstore, my favorite mascara, and it's been going on like three years or something now, I think. This is the Maybelline The Colossal Big Shot Waterproof, and I get it in very black. For my lower lash line, this is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Water Resistant in very black, so I really like very black mascaras. I was for a while, I think, using this on my top and lower lashes, but in the end, I do prefer this one on my lower lashes. I think it's just like completely smudge proof. That is it, that is what's in my travel makeup bag. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and also are looking forward to potentially getting the large one. Overall, I've just been enjoying my time here in Arizona. It's nice to come back and treat it like a vacation, especially because I was living here for so long and now I'm gonna be going back home to LA, which is so interesting because before was the opposite. I would go to LA for vacation and then come back to Phoenix. The resort has been so pretty. I'll insert some video clips here of how beautiful it's been. The weather's been great. You know, it's now not as hot as it can be in Phoenix. It's like maybe 88, 90 degrees, which is awesome. I'm just really enjoying my time here, uh, seeing my friends and family, and uh, I'm also looking forward to going back though and seeing Steven and the dogs very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.